Hello, I'm Sam Archibald, and today I'm going to be talking about the FlashForge Creator Pro 3D printers from FlashForge. These are dual head 3D printers which actually allow for um, two different types or two different colors of plastic to be extruded at the same time. These are fairly low end printers, but they do make up for it in the fact that they do have that dual head capability and they are still reasonably high quality. The 3D printer has a couple of main parts. This is the door that lifts up. This is the roof that also comes out. Over here, we have the LCD. This is where you, your, all your menus and all that will be displayed, and these controls right here help you navigate the menus. Right here is the bed. This is actually a heated bed, which is one of the nice features about this printer. So the bed actually gets hot. These are both the extruders. This is what makes this printer uh, special. So if you look right here, you see both of these two um, nozzles. If we look up, two different types of plastics can be fed up through these tubes that come out of those nozzles. And you can actually print with two different plastics, two different materials, two different whatever. Now this is the uh, x-axis right here. This is the uh, z, this is the y. These right here, these screws are used for um, leveling the bed. Your bed has to be completely level for the printer to print properly. Each printer comes with two rolls of plastic. You should always install the front panel and you should also assemble the top roof. These two panels are used during ABS prints and can be easily removed when printing in the PLA. Now you might be wondering what PLA and ABS are. They're both different types of plastics used typically in uh, these types of printers. The blue one that comes to the printer is the PLA and the white one is the ABS. PLA is a lot more rigid than ABS and is typically quite a bit more translucent. But ABS is what is recommended and typically comes in a lot of colors. Okay, so the first thing you should do whenever you get a printer is uh, level the bed. You should always use this card to help you level. If you don't you have this card, a piece of paper will work. We're going to go into the menu. We're going to go into Utilities. We're going to scroll down to this Level Build Plates. That's going to go ahead and everything's going to move. Now I recommend taking the acrylic top off, just so it's easier for you to um, use. Now the heads are quote unquote home. This is how high the um, head will be from the bed when it starts printing. You're going to put your card underneath the head. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to... You're going to turn clockwise looking down. So you're just going to loosen this until there's plenty of space and there's absolutely no resistance. Then you're going to want to go ahead and loosen all the other um, all the other screws. There are a total of three, one in the front and two in the back. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to put your hand on the uh, axis and pull it towards you. You want to go ahead and move the heads in the center, put the piece of paper under, and then turn your screw so that the bed raises. You're going to keep on moving it back and forth while you're unscrewing very slowly until there's some resistance, not very much, until there's just a tiny bit of resistance. Then you're going to go ahead, from the top, grab the head, and move it back. You want it to be moved back to the corner where the screw is. Put the piece of paper underneath the head and do the same thing. You want to do it to have slight friction between the two. Then go ahead and grab the head, move it back. 
And just for you to know, the head is the entire assembly with both of the extruders. Until there's just slight resistance. Now I move the head across the bed. And you should keep on having this slight resistance. If you do not, like I am not right now, go ahead and tighten the screw so it brings the bed down slightly. This might take a while, but you should go around and adjust the bed until you have slight friction all across the plate. So now that we're done uh, leveling the bed, we have to load the filament, so go into Utilities. Filament loading. Then go ahead and hit Load, and then whichever side you're using, we're going to be using the right, head, the right side. It's going to display this heating. When the spar fills up, it'll be done. While it's heating up, we can go ahead and grab our roll of filament. This is a MakerBot ABS. Go ahead and put that on the back. Then you're going to want to spool it all the way back up so that there's no uh, slack. Then you're going to want to go ahead and feed it through one of the tubes all the way through into the head. After you feed it through the tube, it should come out the end. Insert it into the extruder, push down on that small tab, push in slightly, push into the filament slightly, then let go of the tab and you sh it should grab onto the filament so you can't pull it out if you pull lightly. Should look like this when it's done. And then after the beeps, it will start extruding. Go ahead and press the OK button to stop it. It might take a second to, um, to start extruding after the beeping happens, but that's normal. This did not beep because I forgot to turn the mic on on my camera, so sorry you cannot hear those beeps. Before you start printing, you have to put something on top of the bed. The bed cannot be bare, otherwise you're not going to be able to get your print off of the bed. So you should either use Kathon tape, or you should use the uh, bed with a 3M sticky that comes with the printer. For PLA, I recommend this uh, blue sticky bed, but for ABS, I recommend Kathon tape. If you're going to be using your printer for both, use the Kathon tape. It's much easier to apply, much easier to remove, and it's a lot, uh, it makes it so the ABS comes off a lot better. This does not come in the box though, you're going to have to buy it separately. Also while you're printing, when you're using PLA, you have to make sure that both the top and the panel, both panels are removed or the front panel is up. You cannot have both of them closed since the uh, PLA actually needs air to go through. While ABS, you actually need to put the top on and the cover down because the ABS likes the hotter air. First thing you want to do is go to flashverse.com slash support dash center, link in the description. Then you're going to want to go ahead and go down to Creator Pro. Scroll down to Software and Firmware and hit Download Now. And then select uh, Flash Print. Right now it's 3.10. And you're going to select whichever operating system that is right for you. I am Mac OS. And you have Windows right here. And then Linux right there. We're going to go ahead and close out of this and install Flash Print. Just select the .pkg or .xe, whatever the heck you have for your operating system. Agree to terms and conditions. Then go ahead and open it up. On uh, Mac, it'll be in your launch pad.
So use left mouse and middle to be able to uh, pan. Then to be able to rotate, you use right click. Those are your basic controls in the 3D space. We're going to zoom in and out, use the middle mouse. To use the middle mouse, you to zoom in and out, use the middle mouse. Here in the sidebar, you have the view, and you can go ahead and select which view you want. You also have move, that allows you to move the object around. If you select the object and then click on any option in the menu, it'll bring up extra uh, options for more fine control, such as setting the position and rotating. You always want to go ahead and hit on platform whenever you print, and then it's optional to hit center, but whenever you import a model, you should always hit uh, on platform. In the rotate menu, you can go ahead and rotate your object. At any point, if you need to reset, you can go ahead and hit, hit the reset button. In the set dimensions, this is where you can scale your object. Uh, this is a bit more advanced. We're not going to use this. And then extruder. This is what. This is how you select which extruder you want to use. We want to use the right extruder. It's gray. So if we wanted to use the left extruder, we can hit left extruder. But we won't, we've loaded the right extruder. So it, for example, if we had another print here, if we had another fish, and we wanted one to print in one color, one to print in the other color we would have one use the right extruder and one use the left extruder. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that model because I kind of like this model better. But use the right extruder. The printer cannot print overhang, so if you ever need to generate supports, go ahead and hit auto supports. Whenever you're doing a print, you should always hit auto supports. On this fish, it doesn't need support, so it's just going to tell us we don't need them. But we're ready to print, so go ahead and hit print. You always want to preview. Machine type, Flash Forge Creator Pro. Material type, now this depend. Now we're going to use PLA for this example, so hit PLA. I just do it on both. You don't have to do it on both. You just have to do it on whichever um, extruder you want to use, but I'm going to put it both just to be safe. We do not want to use a rat, and we do not want to use supports. Go ahead and hit temperature. And then right extruder, I want to hit. I want to actually turn that into 220 degrees Celsius. I find it prints better in the platform. I want to be 65. Hit OK. Then save that to the SD card. Some things to note when you're uh, printing in PLA is make sure you have your bed ready. Make sure that there is uh, either the front door is off or open. On this one, we've actually prepared it to be off. Make sure that the roof is off. Also, make sure that the extruder head is clean. Then you're ready to go. Insert your SD card. Then go ahead. Hit print from SD and select your print, and the printer should start to print. When your print is complete, you should be able to just push it off with your thumb. This model luckily does not have much contact with bed, so it's very easy to take off. If your model is sticking, you can actually go into the main menu and hit preheat, and it'll warm up the bed. So just wait for it to cool down, hit preheat, and then you should be able to just push it off if not, a putty knife works very well. As you can see with this model that I just printed, link in the description, it's, the printer is actually accurate enough to, pretend, uh, to in one piece, make an articulating skeleton, fish skeleton. Now that you're done with your print, you can go ahead and take a, uh, just a small like, toothpick or something, take out any fibers that have connected any joints, take some acetone if you have any acetone laying around, and um, dump it in acetone to smooth it out. You can sand it down. You can do all these different things to go ahead and make it look pretty. You can paint it. You can do whatever you want with it. It'll work just fine. Preparing to print an ABS is very simple. The only thing you can do is turn it on. Make sure that the roof is on. Make sure that the window is in. And that's all you have to do. Make sure not to use this bottom piece. You do not want to use this bottom piece. You will never be able to get it off. 
you should always have the cap on tape. And one thing to note when using the cap on tape is put one corner on, then go ahead and grab a credit card and smooth it down. You want it to be as smooth as possible. This is not smooth enough. If it's not smooth, you need to use a raft. When I was going through the software, you may have noticed settings for the supports and the raft. Supports are pieces of plastic that are made to uh, support overhangs. These can be very easily broken off after the print, but they're su to support overhangs because the printer cannot print in mid-air. Uh, if you go, whenever you're about to print something, just hit you know auto supports. It'll automatically generate supports if needed, and the supports made are you know very well made in that software. You just go ahead and break them right off. The um, the wrap setting though. If you're using ABS, I always recommend a raft. It's just a piece of, it's just a sheet of plastic that's printed right beforehand, very clumsily, which then your uh, design is then printed on top of. As you see, we create a raft by going into the print settings when we were right in that box right before we printed. We hit ABS and then we went ahead and raft right extruder, whatever extruder that you're using, which whatever extruder has filament in it, you go ahead and select that. It'll go ahead and it'll make a nice raft. The raft goes ahead and it supports the uh, material, so if you're trying to make it to the bottom of, the, of your design, you want it to be perfectly smooth, or you want it to not have any deformities in it because the bottom, the bottom of the print bed has any deformities, or because your print bed isn't leveled very, very correctly. I always recommend a raft.